Leanne Wood is the Plaid Cymru AM for the Rhonda and the party spokesperson on housing, social justice and equality. Good morning. Borada. Good morning. Are Welsh women being let down by the criminal justice system? Yes, in a word. There are no prison facilities for women in Wales. The 200-odd women who go to prison from Wales are incarcerated over the border in England, which is harmful because we know that rehabilitation is more successful if people can stay in touch with their families, and that's much easier, of course, when people are in prison local to their families. That said, we should be sending far fewer women to prison. I used to work as a probation officer back in the 1990s, and although our trade union NAPO at the time were constantly raising concerns about funding and government policy. We did then have quite a a good range of programmes to offer support and alternatives uh, to custody. Now I haven't been a probation officer for quite a long time but from the outside and from talking to former probation colleagues they say that those problems, those options have been uh, hit as a result of austerity and the partial privatisation of the probation service. So women are getting let down in lots of different ways. When you add to that the underinvestment, um, and if only we could intervene earlier in people's lives to help them before they get to crisis point. In fact, I've got some figures here that show that between 2011 and 2016, women who were given custodial sentence increased by 18%. It's not necessarily, though, that women are being criminalised, would you say, just the fact that there aren't alternatives to some of the services that you were just talking about? Yes. Now, I saw many people let down uh, in the in the 90s because often people can be just below the seriousness level to warrant support from social services or intervention from other services but without that support they en- inevitably end up uh, reaching that crisis level and today after a decade of austerity it looks as though most social services departments uh, are at breaking point and can only deal with crisis uh, cases the voluntary sector has seen cuts to their funding. Now, one solution to all of this could be some sort of preventative service where lots of different prevent professionals work all under one roof to prevent the crisis that sees the kids taken into care or people sectioned under the Mental Health Act or end up in prison or, or far worse. And that kind of service could empower people to solve their own problems, parenting problems, financial problems. They could have specialist support for issues like mental health. So many people are falling through the gaps but with what mental you're, health but and what, addiction services. But what you're suggesting is that women are treated differently, so t- differently different to men and the the possibility is then that there's more leniency shown towards women well i think we need to take a different approach there are very few people who are helped by prison yes some people need secure residential accommodation because they're a danger to themselves or to other people but it makes no sense financially or from society's perspective to lock up so many people with so many uh, problems and in the case of women and and the vast majority of women who are in prison remember are not dangerous there are very very few cases where a prison sentence doesn't make things considerably worse now we're deluded i think if we believe that Ministry of Justice are going to solve any of these problems for us because so many of the policy levers in this area, health, housing, education, mental health, addiction services, they are all devolved. But the, so the, the Ministry of Justice has, has, has no other choice. If, they, if mm. they can't refer to those services, then they have no choice but to impose a custodial sentence. You're right, and that's why we are seeing the the numbers that you quoted uh, earlier on. But we need to take a different approach. So if we funded properly the alternatives, the probation service and those other support services, uh, and if we devolved the criminal justice service to Wales, we could join all these services up better. Um, those Running those, peop- those services would be made better accountable, spending decisions could be made more equitable, and we'd be able to shape our criminal justice system to meet the needs of a rural, semi-rural country with much smaller cities than we see over the border. It's clear that a one-size-fits-all approach in the criminal justice system is not working. Too many people are being uh, failed. And the best way for us to shine a light on exactly how people are being failed would be to have the responsibility for police, sentencing, courts, prisons under our national parliament here in Wales. Um, As you're with us this morning and you represent uh, the Rhonda, we're reporting 
reporting a story this morning that South Wales Police are warning that a lethal back of, batch of drugs could be in circulation and this follows the death of a 17-year-old in Treherbert yesterday. Do you know any more about this? It's an absolute tragedy. I've just heard the news uh, myself. It's terrible to lose someone to drink or drugs at any age, at this time of year especially. Um, but it's terrible um, that we're talking about 17-year-olds who are at the very beginning of their lives. My thoughts go out to their friends and their family. They must be absolutely devastated. I'd invite the family to contact me if I can be of any help. But I'd also appeal to everyone else to be careful and to be aware that this uh, potentially dangerous batch of drugs is in circulation. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme this morning.